Hey, what's up, YouTube? I'm about to crawl in the attic and uh, run some electrical wire for my solar, but I wanted to do this quick video on our entertainment center and uh, TV wall mount and some other stuff that I used. I did most of this myself. I couldn't find some of these products to buy, so I had to make some of it. And uh, it turned out really great. Really happy with it. So let's take a closer look and uh, show you some of the things I did. Okay, so this is the upper shelf that I made. Most of the ones that you buy weren't quite as good a quality as I would like. So... I made this one. It's a lot sturdier than what you would buy because some of them have a tendency to sag forward. So that one, that, that turned out pretty great. Very happy with that. Then we'll move down to the entertainment center portion of it. I made this one as well. I haven't gotten around to covering up those bolts that are holding it up but just made a simple box some cubbies to hold some electronics on this side we got the DVD player and the Roku and over here we got uh, direct TV I think they call these the mini genie, the main DVRs in the bedroom. And my girlfriend's Apple TV. She's Apple, I'm Android, so I have a Roku. She's got an Apple TV. She's got Apple TV, Apple Watch, Apple Phone, Apple Computer, iPad. I mean, yeah, so. All right. And then inside this box here, that's where everything plugs into. So we got uh, the cable coming in right here. There's a power outlet that's down back there. Might be kind of hard to see. Maybe if I can lift this up. Lift this up. It's back in there. And then the top, that's where the hole is where all the stuff runs up to the TV. So this power strip that I decided to go with, I'm trying to save electricity everywhere I can. These buttons can turn each outlet on and off. So like the Roku, the Apple TV, the DVD player, we leave all of those off because we don't use them very often. And when we do, we just come over here, turn it on, and, uh, and we can use it. Doesn't save a lot of electricity, but, I mean, it all adds up. So we'll go up and uh, show you the, the mount. So this is... Uh, I probably should have made this cubby bigger because the power strip didn't end up fitting in there quite as well as I had liked. But I was not thinking fourth dimensionally. I have a real problem with that. Okay, so here's the mount that I chose to go with. Now something that I learned, even if you don't plan on doing much adjusting, you should definitely get a full articulating mount because just because you're not gonna uh, uh, to adjust it different angles it makes it, it makes a world of difference when it comes to making connections the one in our bedroom I just used a tilting one and it is a nightmare trying to plug stuff into it but look I have full access to the back side of the TV so if I want to 
change any of the connections, it's nice and easy to do. So this mount was purchased on Amazon along with the power strip. This HDMI splitter was also purchased on Amazon. It's uh, not so much as, I mean, it's a, kind of a splitter, but it's a uh, selector. It's supposed to be automatic. So when you turn the device on, it's supposed to select that particular one, one, two, or three. It works with kind of like one and two, but then I have to reach back here and select three in order to get to the third option. It's not the end of the world. It doesn't bother me that much. It was like $11. So it does work for what I want it for. Um, maybe if I had returned it and reordered it, maybe it would have worked a little bit better. I don't know, but I was fine with it. Again, like I said, I don't use those items all that often, so it's not the end of the world when I have to go over and push it. So I mounted this to the wall. This is bolted to, this, to a stud here and here, and then I used anchors in the four corners. So there's a total of six bolts. Those anchors are supposed to hold a ridiculous amount. Well more, a single anchor is rated for more than what this TV weighs. And I have four of them in anchors, but then I have two that are going into studs. And then this is where all the wires come up out of the wall. These were also purchased on Amazon. They're kind of curved to kind of guide the wires whichever way you mount it. So guide the wires down or up to the side or whatever, however you run them. The other side of this wall is my garage. So in order to try and keep it more insulated, because I try and save energy any way I can, especially being in Phoenix, it gets really hot. So I cut the back side of the wall out, made a channel going in between these two out of some plywood, and then I foamed it back in and covered it back up to try and keep it insulated, keep it air sealed and all that stuff. Plus it makes it really easy to run these wires. So when I stick something down in there, it's gonna go down, catch the other one that's inside the box and come right back out. So that's the video on our entertainment center. I definitely highly suggest those fully articulating mounts. Definitely go with those even if you don't plan to have any adjustment because it makes a world of difference when you're having to make any sort of connections back there. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. Why pay someone when I can make it myself?